Hi guys, Rachie Bob here and today I'm going to be showing you how to record The Sims Free Play using OBS. I've done a similar video of recording The Sims 4 on OBS, which is slightly easier because it's a desktop game, but this is on your iPhone or your iPad or maybe some other device. So the first thing you need to do is display your iPhone on your computer in my case laptop so if you hear me referring to iPhone that'll be whatever device you're running Sims Free Play on if you hear me refer to laptop that's whatever you're going to mirror it to so the first thing you need to do is get a really good piece of software called Air Server um, I've already got it running but what you need to do is just run that on your laptop and once you've got Air Server running that's actually activated and you can you can then mirror it on the phone. To do that on an iPhone, you just pull up the notifications bar from the bottom of the phone, click AirPlay Mirroring, choose what device you're going to mirror it to. So it's in this bar here and you can see I've chosen Rachie Bob's laptop. And then that's now displayed on my laptop screen. All audio will come out of my laptop, but I'm still using the iPhone to do everything. Okay, and the Sims Free Play is landscape, so it's best to turn it landscape straight away so you don't have any conflict with that. That might be an issue with certain devices that don't have um, landscape mode from the desktop. It won't be an issue when you come to record, but it just might be an issue just getting things set up initially, so it might be better just to launch the app straight away. Then just go and launch the game. You'll hear the audio come from the laptop rather than the iPhone. Hopefully you can tell the difference. <laughs> Okay, and the next step is to launch OBS. So go down here, launch OBS. I've got OBS, whoop, I've got OBS Studio at the moment and that's now launched that. This is a scene I previously set up, but I will create another one just so you can see. So these are all my scenes down here. I can create another one as an example. So scene six, that's totally fine. You can name these things to make them a bit less cluttered. This is my desktop audio. You might want to be a bit aware of that. Sometimes it can be quite loud with games like this and if you're talking make sure these levels come over these ones. This is your microphone. So you just click the cog, go to properties and you can check that you're using the right microphone. Always do a test video before you start doing long videos. You don't want to waste your time. Then if you click for sources, this goes in layers, so from the bottom to the top will be what's shown behind to in front. Click the plus button and then go to window capture, that's fine, we can call it whatever we want to. OK, and you can see from this drop down list, these are my options, but yes, we want air server. And I can choose to capture the cursor, which it's doing now, or to just turn that off. OK, so there we have it, and we can just drag that out to size. And that fits the screen. If you find it doesn't, you can also add in an image, which you would do there. And you just select that from your desktop and you can place that anywhere you want, behind or in front. So, and if I wanted to have my video camera on here, I would just click video capture. And I already have my video camera set up multiple times because it sometimes decides it just doesn't want to work. So you will find it's a bit of a trial and error process with OBS, especially on laptops. You see like that one's not worked, but I can guarantee you one of these video capture devices will work and they're all going to the same webcam. There we go, there's one. And you can just resize that and have it as you want it, wherever you want it on the screen, wherever's best for the game that you're doing. So and if you want to turn off, like these are irrelevant, let's delete them. You can just select them and press delete or you can right click and remove. So this is the one that's working and we can just turn that off there or on whatever we see fit. And to record, you just click start recording and stop recording. And when you're done, the file will go into your videos within this PC videos. And there it is. And there we go. And you can change the file types within the settings here. You can change the file types, you can live stream, you can do whatever you want, all within there. So um, it's very customizable, but that is the basics of how to record The Sims Free Play. Let me know in the comments 
If you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer those for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!